in this video, we can have a look at an abandoned cart recovery plugin. So when the user is at the checkout and they fail to complete the checkout within 15 minutes, the email is activated and the user gets an email to say, hey, please go back and complete your purchase. And you can then schedule more emails to run. So you could have one that runs the day after and the one that runs the day after that, reminding them of their purchase. The plugin that we're going to install here is going to be an abandoned cart plugin. So we go WooCommerce abandoned cart. And the plugin that we're going to look for is WooCommerce cart abandonment recovery. And it's from Cartflows. Let's install that. And this is a free plugin. Installed, we activate. Right, the plugin is activated. And as you can see, the only thing that I have installed here and active is WooCommerce and the cart abandonment and recovery plugin. So if we head over to the products and I go and have a look at the shop, you'll see that it's a pretty standard installation. No fancy footwork here for this particular shop. Right, we head back to the back end, we go to WooCommerce and we go to cart abandonment. Now what's nice here, what's very nice is that you have this dashboard that tells you what's going on. So you have recoverable orders and the value of those orders, recovered orders, the recovered revenue, and then lost orders and the recovery rate. So you get an idea of how much money or how many orders you are recovering just by just by sending a reminder to your clients. In the follow-up emails, you'll see that we have an option here. Here are three emails, but of course you can set your own triggers and for any number of minutes or days that you prefer. And each of these templates can be edited. And then in the settings section, you can enable or disable capturing abandoned carts. You can disable the tracking for people that work on the website. You can enable the email sending for um, different uh, statuses in your, your orders. You can also ask for a notice of recovery to be sent to the admin. There are also coupon settings, so you can automatically send the user a coupon, a nice way just to get them back into the into the the sale by offering a small discount and then of course you have some email settings who's this going to be from so let's call this from the shop admin and uh, then you can also enable a web hook so if you'd like to hook into something else you have the opportunity to do that there's also an auto create special coupon for the abandoned cart to send over the emails we won't activate that right now. There's also the GDPR integration. And then when deleting, you can delete all the plugin data. So we're going to leave the settings pretty much as standard to get started. And we'll head over now to the follow-up email so you can have a look and see how that works. And it's really easy to edit and to fine tune to exactly the way that you would like it. In order to activate a template, it would be a case of activate template now. Then you can give the template a name. The email subject is the subject that the user would see. So maybe you want to call purchase issue or if you want to change that, thank you for uh, making a purchase. And in this case, for almost making a purchase, and then you can create your email. Now you'll see here that you have these special fields like customer first name, admin first name, admin company, and these variables are available through the fields. So these fields then allow you to add more interesting information to the email. And because it's integrated into the information that's collected at the checkout, you can also include the car checkout URL that will automatically populate the checkout with the items that the user had added to their cart. So all they have to do is head over to the checkout and their checkout, their, their cart will have all the items that they, they wanted. Another nice thing is that you can also have a product details table. 
So that could include information like an image, um, the number of units, the price. So very easy for them to have a look at that email and go, oh yes, that's exactly what I was looking for and head over to the checkout. So I think the best thing to do then is let's have a look and see what that looks like. To, to introduce those fields, you have your message here, we're having trouble processing, we're, we're having trouble processing your recent purchase, would you mind completing it? Here's a link to continue where you left off. Um, we can add this is what was in your cart. And then what we do is we head over to the fields and we just introduce the details table. Kindly, the admin first name, admin company, cart, unsubscribe. But of course, you can also put in your own information. You don't have to go with those fields. So there we have our first uh, email set up. Would you like to create a coupon? So yeah, why not? Let's let's do a coupon that we're going to send, and it will have a 10% discount and it won't have an expiry but of course you could set it up and say um, head over to the checkout there is a coupon expires in say five hours and that just puts a bit of urgency into the sale you could also allow free shipping let's say individual use only and let's auto apply the coupon so when the user gets to the checkout the coupon is applied all they have to do is make the payment and check out and then let's do this. Let's uh, send this email. I'm just going to set it for five minutes because of the demo, but you can, of course, set it to minutes, hours, or days. So set it up the way that you want. Let's update the changes. And for the purposes of, the, of this particular test mail, I'm just going to add uh, two items to the cart, and then I'm going to send a test mail. So there we go, we send a test email and let me go and fetch that email. I'm not going to bore you with my inbox. But the email has been received and I'm just going to fetch that. So here we have it. Here is our email with the various items. So in the test, hi there, we're having trouble processing your purchase. Would you mind completing it? Here's a link to continue where you left off. And you'll see here that those are the items that were in my cart. And if I want to head over to the checkout, you'll see that those items are going to be in the cart. So there we have the checkout and the items are in the cart. You'll notice that the discount coupon isn't applied, but that will only be applied in the live run. So in the test, the coupon doesn't show, but there are the items that are in my basket. So let's do a live test. So we've set it up. Let's close that email. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the checkout. So there we have it. And now what I'm going to do is I'll view the cart. And what I'll do is I'll just change those values so that we have two of each just to compare. And then what I'm going to do is proceed to the checkout. And I'm just going to enter my details. And that's it. And then I'm going to abandon the cart. And then let's have a look and see how that pulls through with the abandoned cart plugin. So I'll catch up with you once that email comes in. Right, we're back and the email has been sent. And here is a copy of the email that I received from the abandoned cart. And you'll see 222 with items. And now let's have a look at that discount code kicking in. But and there you'll see that the discount coupon, which is dynamically created, has been applied to the checkout and there is the total. Now let's go and have a look at the stats for that 
And in the report now, you're going to have a look and see, and you'll see that we have one total recoverable orders and to the value of $163.80. And down at the bottom here, you'll actually see when that occurred and the name. And if I click on that, you'll actually see the details of the purchase here at the bottom. You'll see my billing and shipping details. And over here, you will see the summary of the form. And you'll also see the follow-up emails. Now, in this case, we've only sent the one follow-up email. And that email is the same as the one that's ticked here. So we know that that's the sample email template one. And if we have a look at the emails, we know that it's sample email template one. So we know that that email was sent. Now what I'll do is I'm going to complete the checkout. So let's do cash on delivery. I'll place my order. Uh, let me put in a province. I'll place my order. So the checkout is complete, the order is received, and now when I update, you'll see now that the recoverable orders are zero and the recovered orders are on one. So now you know that the order was recovered and we have a 100% recovery rate. And if I look in recovered orders, once again, I can go in and have a look and get the order details. So that's pretty much how the abandoned cart system works a very effective and a very nice way of recovering those orders where people maybe get distracted on the checkout. So just to show you that plugin again, so we head back to plugins and it's the WooCommerce Cart Abandonment Recovery plugin and that's from Cart Flows Incorporated and it is for free. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.